this young man, Jordan, had a chance to talk with Elder this morning about baptism. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I think he's eight. Yeah, he's eight, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, that's so wonderful that uh, he made a decision to receive Christ as his Savior. Yes, indeed. And I understand that from Elamah's uh, conversation with him, he confessed with his mouth yes, the Lord indeed. Jesus yes, and indeed. believed in his heart that God had raised him from the dead. Yes. And he said, you, wish, you shall be saved. Yes. It's, very, it's kind of simple, but if you don't focus on the fact that Jesus died for your sins and on the third day God raised him from the dead, you could have a lot of religious jargon in your head. Amen. But the main element here is Christ Jesus. Amen. And the work that he did at Cameron's Cross. Amen. So, young man, I congratulate you. Amen. I, I think Jay made a... a Amen. My, I don't see him right now, but he made... Yeah, sitting back there. He made a decision about four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. and he got baptized at... Uh, and Jay Lynn too. Mm -hmm. Baptized October the 22nd, 2017. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 it was uh, Jaden Winston, Jalen Spence, and Jalen A. Jefferson. Praise the Lord. And also, uh, uh, Zion Lewis accepted Jesus March 11, 2018. Okay, praise the Lord. So, uh, these two young men and the dear young lady had made a decision. Hallelujah. About their eternal destiny. Mm -hmm. Won't turn back. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a good, that's a good word. I, I, I'm not turning back. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Thank you. I, I got to wait on it. I ain't turning mm -hmm. back. Cause and there come times in your life you wanna, you wanna turn back or turn away. Mm -hmm. But uh, the race is not given to the swift, yeah. nor to the strong, but oh, he yeah. that endures. Lord, to the end. To the end. To the end. We, we thank God for that. And God enables us to what? Endure yes, to the end. Amen. And we thank God for uh, young Jordan and uh, Jaylen and my grandson uh, Jalen mm -hmm. for making that tremendous decision thank to you, receive Lord. Christ as their Savior. Mm -hmm. And once you choose him as your Savior, that's what he is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take that into mind that that's what he'll save you. To the uttermost, mm -hmm. those that come to him by faith. It's a mighty good one, too. Yes, is, and, and it is. Yes, 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 he is. And I thank God for, for the message uh, last, Amen. last uh, Thursday Amen. Uh, on, the, Amen. on the conference call, the, Amen. Uh, the truth. Amen. Jesus. Yes. You need some truth. Yes, indeed. There's a lot of truth being spewed out there mm -hmm. from social media, from YouTube, from Facebook. Everybody got a truth. Yeah, the truth. That's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. everybody got a truth. Mm -hmm. This is what I and you don't they don't talk about truth anymore. They talk about how you feel. Yeah, mm -hmm. your truth. yeah and your feelings have nothing to do with the truth. Mm -hmm. Because the truth is the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I am the truth. That's what he said. The way and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. Mm -hmm. He made that declaration very clear. Now let's take a look at, we have some guests here too. Mm -hmm. um, Kareem yes, and his dear friend. Angel. Angel, yes, Angel, Angel. Yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord, got an angel in here. They got an angel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, praise his name. Uh, this is my dear wife right here. Uh, how many years have you been married? That's, I, got, I got lost. How, how much is it? 50, 54. Uh, 50, mm. Almost 55. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We've been, on, been around a long time. A long time. Yeah. 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 She's a dear lady. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't take nothing for it. Mm -hmm. no, take nothing for it. The, the longer you stay together, mm -hmm. I think is the key. Because you've got to go through the rough times and the difficult times and times when the world is calling at you and other things are calling at you. But you stay together. Uh, God can reward you greatly with his presence and his ability to stay together. Mm -hmm. uh, Jay has been married what? 28 how, years. How, how, how much is it? It's 28. 28. <laughs> 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 Put me in the dog house. <laughs> I thought I 
my job and we're deep in there at about 56 and 57. Have we? 59. Fit, 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 fit. 59 years, praise the Lord. Wow. You've been married all your life. <laughs> uh, we praise the Lord for that. And uh, it's another sign that God, and no marriage is perfect, but in Christ it works towards perfection as you mature in, in a marriage. It's just like growing. you got to grow up. Sometimes there are those that grow up and sometimes those that don't grow up. But, uh, and no, no, no growth occurs without some struggle. Mm -hmm. Always a struggle. You, when I was before I began to walk, my mama said you bust your knees up, fell and bust your head outside the wall. We're trying to walk. A lot of pain mm -hmm. in walking. <laughs> but uh, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. We're gonna look, look back at Ruth. We're not gonna spend too much time here this morning, but I did want to look at that particular passage scripture where. Um, this gentleman took off his shoe. <laughs> it, is, it is tremendous. And I hope that um, the Spirit will give us revelation to convict us about this gentleman as he took off his shoe uh, and gave leeway to Boaz to redeem. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you now thanking you and praising you from, for your goodness and mercy. Thank you for all that have gathered. We gather here in your name, Jesus, looking for and receiving revelation through the Spirit how to conduct ourselves in this world. It is a difficult world if we don't have you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. It's a difficult world to walk, to talk, even to maintain a sense of Reality without you, Jesus. So we thank you, Father, that you gave us. You said, come unto me, all that labor and heaven laden, and I will give you rest. Oh, hallelujah. Lay not to your own understanding, but trust in the Lord with all your heart. Yes, Lord. Acknowledge him in everything you do, and he hallelujah. will guide your best. Yes, he will. Thank you. And those of us that have been around Jesus <laughs> Over the years, knows it's true. Yes, yes, it is. We have no doubt mm -hmm. that God can. Yes, He can. If you just trust Him. Yes. Thank you again, Father. Yes, Lord. Enable this, this vessel of play to preach and teach those things that you desire. In Jesus' name and for His sake, Amen. 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 The um, I'm a little hoarse this morning because of the the, the um, environment, the, the allergies. The allergies. Mm -hmm. I mean, just jumped on me the other day. <laughs> I don't usually have a problem, but uh, mm -hmm. everything is green. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spewing out stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you have an allergy problem, take precautions how to deal with that. Mm -hmm. Here we see in chapter mm -hmm. 4, Earl has a read for us, and thank God for it. If we read down to verse, verse 9, Solidly read down to verse 9, and then I'm going to place some emphasis on verse 9. It said, Then went Boaz up to the gate. As a place where individuals met for meetings. And there he, he sat down. Behold, the kinsman of whom Boaz spoke came by unto him, unto whom he said, Ho! such as one, turn aside, sit down here, and turn aside and sit, he turned aside and sit down. I have a picture of a place where the leaders gathered in, um, in meeting to clarify something or to uh, give witness of some event. Though That's how the elders work there in Israel. Amen. Uh, but they do it nowadays, but Things are a little bit different. Huh? Uh, you you can lie and cheat, but mm -hmm. I don't think this was part of the process here, because look at this. And he took the ten men and elders of the city and said, "Sit ye down here," and they sat down. There were ten elders. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Like you are. The ten elders. Ten. They were men. They, they weren't any women. They were. They were men. Because 
in actual leadership, the scriptures teach that men are, le are leaders. Amen. Uh, I'm, I'm not getting, I don't have anything against women. I got one of them married to six, five years, but the, th the thing is that the Bible presents men as head of the household. And so these household men, yeah. they met. They were going to witness a decision that was made between uh, Boaz and, and this general who, had, who was a near kinsman mm -hmm. to Amalek. And he said unto the kinsman, uh, Naomi, who is come again out of the country of Moab. Mm -hmm. And most of you are familiar with the country of Moab. I'll just say something brief. It's, it's a, well, it was a terrible place. Uh, and we have some places like that in America, even here in Richmond, where things go on that are not very kosher mm -hmm. and not very morally mm -hmm. correct. Amen. A lot of incest, mm -hmm. rape and murder and mm -hmm. child molestation mm -hmm. went on in that country yes, of Moab. Yes, and we just went to face mm -hmm. that. Yes, sir. And uh, I thank God that uh, uh, Ruth came back with the Naomi mm -hmm out of that situation mm -hmm. and going back into land of where Ruth well, no man came from, she said, I, your God will become yeah, my, my God, God. Mm -hmm. and your people will yeah, become my God. people. Even though I'm not an Israelite, there it is. I want to be with your people and with your God. Hallelujah. The thing was that yes, there was something about Ruth, yes, sir. something about Naomi, mm -hmm. And even though Emelak and those two boys had passed, they left something in her mm -hmm. that she desired to be with God's people mm -hmm. and uh, uh, with enormous, enormous people. And look at it. And, and he said unto the kinsman Naomi, mm -hmm. who is come out of the land of Moab, sell a plot of land that was our brother Emelak. Mm -hmm. It's in the heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. Somebody needs to bring it out of heart. Yeah, Naomi awesome. can't because yeah. she's flat broke. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ruth, she flat broke. But maybe there's a kinsman redeemer around. That's the, the laws that were in the, in the Pentateuch, uh, Leviticus and also in yes, Deuteronomy. Right. Yep. Uh, if a near kinsman, yes, they got to see this, mm -hmm. um, saw fit to purchase the land mm -hmm. uh, and back, back to them, it was all a part of it. The uh, mosaic system, mm -hmm. and it says that I and I thought to tell these sin by it before the inhabitants. Yeah. Now you, these witnesses are witness to what is going to occur here. Mm -hmm. uh, when me and my wife, dear wife got married back in thousand years ago, <laughs> uh, pretty near thousand years, <laughs> uh, there were some witnesses at our marriage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if there are no witnesses, um, no one really knows it really happened. Sure. I don't care what kind of paper you got. Mm -hmm. There has to be somebody mm -hmm. who's alive, who has eyes, that can see that they made this commitment, <laughs> they got married. Mm -hmm. And I think that in the procession of, of, of marriage ceremony, uh, to, uh, we gather before these witnesses. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. uh, you heard her, Jay, and I heard it, and many of others heard it. If you got married, mm -hmm. there were witnesses there. Mm -hmm. Now, in my case, my, my, my mother was there, mm -hmm. and your mother, mm -hmm. and the preacher's wife, and the preacher. That was the only, that was the only ones there. My dad, I think he was, he was at work. And um, I was happy to just, just get there. <laughs> I really was. I, that was my wife. I wasn't just happy to get that. <laughs> I, I, I met her in a, in a, on a, in a, in my bus. I drove the bus, you know, and I, mm -hmm. what, what, the world? what the good gracious of me? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> a black boy, you know. Yes, sir. Oh, gracious of me. I saw her. That was me. That was it. Now, I think that God has individuals already prepared for you. If you if, if, if you if you if you miss it the first go around, if you keep your head on the straight, God will give you another chance. Thank and I, I thank God for that. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And thank He you. said, "I thought I tell thee, saying, buy it before the inhabitants, before the elders and my people, if thou wilt redeem it, 
but if thou wilt not redeem it, then tell me that I may know what for there is no one redeem it besides me. Mm -hmm. I and after thee. And he said, I will redeem it. If you don't want to redeem it, um, he didn't say his name yet, but there was a closer kindred than 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 no, more boy has. He said, if you don't want it, I'll, I'll do it. But mm -hmm. because of the laws, the, yes. the rules, and the rituals, and the, uh, the tradition that the Jews have here, you have first, you have first offer. Yeah. yeah. Now he could have, in the days of Saturday, they go underhanded. Yeah, to pay some yeah, out all, pay some out all but some hush money, yeah. and you get to get what you want. But not here. Amen. Uh, this was Amen. God's way of dealing with uh, individuals and in redeeming. Mm -hmm. And if, if God didn't have a, a set rule, then you couldn't trust Him. Amen. Mm -hmm. He would have something in place where what God has put in place, not man, but what God has put in place, how to redeem or what to redeem. You wouldn't have very much to work on. Because man is always changing laws and rules and regulations and updating mm -hmm. and taking away and adding to and stuff yes. like that. Yes. By the time you get back to it, you don't know what you got. Amen. Amen. Right, Jay? That's true. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. But here, Boaz had got the group together. And uh, you come on to, uh, you, because you had first choice here. Now, if you don't want it, then I can redeem it. So he asked him, are you going to redeem it? Let's see what it said. And when Boaz that day buys the field of the hand of Noah, thou buys it also a roof. So you got the roof is part of this transition too. Well, why? Because she'd been married to one of Emelech's sons. Amen, amen. So if you're going to buy uh, Noah's property, uh, she comes along with it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And here I am. This this fellow looking at I'm a, I'm an Israelite here now. I'm looking at this woman that's from Moab, and I I'm not stupid. I know that history. Yeah. I know where they come from. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to get tied up in this stuff. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want to get tied up in you. Yeah. And I think the reason that they didn't to put his name here was simply because they wanted to protect him, even in Scripture. You can't point to say this man. No, it was a person. Mm -hmm. There was no kinsman, but he was a name. Mm -hmm. And thank God for that. Mm -hmm. Because God has a way of dealing with all those un untimely situations, um, mm -hmm. things that not don't work right, things don't actually come out right. But the real kinsman redeemer here is uh, Boaz. Mm -hmm. and, the kins and, the, and the kinsman said, um, I cannot redeem it myself, at least I mar my inheritance. If I bring, if I buy this property, especially this this more by woman here, I'm gonna mess up everything I got. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now all the ins and outs of it, I don't know. It wasn't put here, uh, but you can allow your imagination to just run wild. Uh, I don't want this more by in my family. Mm -hmm. If I was to die or leave something, I have to leave it to this small by. And if she's gonna be my wife, then. I have to treat her as dear and as my oh, as my wife, and I can't do it because of this stuff that's rolling around in my head. Well, you can't make a good decision if a lot of stuff is going on in your head. Can you? If you're getting fed from every Tom, Dick, and Harry, even though you're gonna make a good decision, but everybody talking to you, and all this stuff comes up. Uh, you can't make a good decision. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you fail to make a good decision simply because of this garbage flow down in your head. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And I call it garbage. Mm. Mm -hmm. Boaz didn't see that. Mm -hmm. Boaz didn't see that. Bo and Christ it is. doesn't look at that when he look at you and I. It is. That's what's going on. Yes, he, don't, he don't see our messed up life. Yeah. Where we came from. Mm -hmm. What color we are. What station we are. What national. He don't see that. He don't see that. All God sees is a soul that needs to be saved. That needs to be redeemed. You know what I'm saying? I thank God for yes, Jesus. Thank Jesus you. is not prejudiced. He's not discriminatory. Whosoever will, let it come. 
thank God for that. Thank you, Lord. I thank God for that. Yes, sir. I think, and social media always got all this funny stuff out here. Mm -hmm. I don't look at it because it's poison the mind. Well, you say it don't bother me. When you sit down and talk with a person that's in Christ and he's been in Christ for a while, sit down and talk with him for over a period of time and you'll find out just how messed up your mind is. Mm -hmm. Say the seven, mm -hmm. poison your mind. Yeah. He's a God of this age. Yes, he mm -hmm. And he pours in the mind of those that believe not. Yeah. And even yeah. those that believe, yeah. he drops yeah. dips and, mm -hmm. and pieces yeah. of that in their minds. Yeah. So when you, if you when you say something about Jesus, that person has always has something to say that's not quite like you say. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because of the the subtlety of Satan poison the mind. That's why he works in the mind. Mm -hmm. The mind. Mm -hmm. This is why Satan does his work. Mm -hmm. Let this mind be in you that was in Thank Christ Jesus. Jesus. Thank, you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, then he yeah. says. Uh, uh, be, not, be not conformed to this world, but be, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. When you first come to Christ, your mind is all messed up. That's why you came. Oh, you came to get saved, but at the same time, you need something done about that mind, right? I thank God for, for Jesus. Now he says, uh, now this was the manner in former times. I was in, in Israel concerning redeeming and concerning changing to conform to confirm all things a man took off his shoe mm -hmm. and gave it to the his neighbor. Mm -hmm. Now he, he didn't there's a video out on YouTube and I looked at it where he actually throws the shoe. But it, it wasn't that. He handed the shoe. I'm not mad at you. I just can't redeem more, uh, Ruth and mm -hmm. Norman. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And all the witnesses there saw it. Mm -hmm. Nothing written in, in it, written down. It was all saw by those ten men who was of good reputation, I'm sure. And uh, not saying it was perfect. No, no man is perfect. But they were there, trustworthy men, to say, I saw this kinsman give the shoe to uh, Boaz. Mm -hmm. And now it's totally in Boaz's hands. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything else to do with this, this redeeming process in this matter. Yes. It's Boaz's ball is in your court, run with it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. He says, therefore the kinsman said unto Boaz, Buy it for yourself. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. So he drew off his shoe. Mm -hmm. I don't want anything to do with this. And I'm thinking that that this man wasn't upset with, with uh, Boaz. Mm -hmm. It was a business transaction, right? Mm -hmm. If I was a give you buy something from you, and I say I don't want it, but some else come along and say I do want it. Why am I getting upset with you? I didn't want it. So I can't get upset with you because you didn't want it. That's true. Different value. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's the value. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Value. Yes, sir. Yes. No. More, bo our boy has saw something yes. in his nature that this man, he, he, he was so scared he going to mar his yes. inheritance. That's it. There we go. Boaz didn't mind more on his because be be uh, he was in such a good standing in the neighborhood, it didn't matter. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. And Jesus is such a good standing, it doesn't matter Amen. who comes up with, let him come. I will in no wise Amen. cast out. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank the kinsman redeemer cast out. Yeah, in my shoe. I don't want anything to do with it. Yes, sir. But the boy said, <laughs> come. Yes. Come. 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 Yes, come. True. Come to me. I, 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 I won't cash you out. I won't take the sandal off and give it to somebody. You are mine. Uh-oh. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And then uh, it says, boy said unto the elders and all these people, you are witnesses. Aye. When Claudia and I got married, uh, my mom and her mom 
and the preacher's mom witnessed us. Mm -hmm. Right then, when, we, when I signed my name, and was just <laughs> for that, right there. In the preacher's house. Yeah, right in the preacher's house. <laughs> and so, so we couldn't get outside and say, I don't, I, don't, I don't know you. I had witnesses. Said this transaction really happened. Mm -hmm. Ten of them. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if you're going to do something and want some legality about it, make sure you got a witness. Mm -hmm. Even if you're going to sign up any kind of paper, Especially in these days and time, make sure you got a witness, or at least two witnesses, or three witnesses, Amen. who see it. Because you, you can sign something, and they can manipulate it to the point where they, you say, you, you didn't sign. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. People are so crooked. <laughs> it says, uh, and boy, it says, to us, unto this people, you are witnessing today that I have brought Oh, that Emelech. You, you, you remember Emelech? Mm -hmm. Who was Emelech? Help me out here. Who was Emelech, girl? Naomi's husband. husband. Mm -hmm. And Naomi's husband and her had what? Two sons. Two sons. Mm -hmm. They all died down there in where? Moab. Mm -hmm. the, the son and the dad and the other son. Mm -hmm. those, those, those two ladies came back out of Moab. Mm -hmm with nothing but the clothes on their backs. Mm -hmm. And God sovereignly brought them here yes, to Jerusalem uh, uh, and then he sovereignly led um, Ruth to the field of Boaz. Yeah, gleaning, mm -hmm. yes, sir. That's where she saw him. Mm -hmm. That's why he saw her. So what I'm saying is God sovereignly plays a big role in our lives. Amen. That's why I, I, I think I wrote a little something to send out of the week. Uh, beware of your decision you make now. It could have, they could have judgmental yes, yes. consequences on later on. Yeah. Make sure you examine yeah. your decision. Mm -hmm. Don't make a decision hastily. Mm -hmm. Don't let vision mm -hmm. hit, uh, cause a problem. You see what I'm saying? Oh, this is, it looks so good. And then you get it and you find out it blows right up in your face. Oh, yeah. Or you buy something, it looks it looks good, you get home, oh my goodness, I wish I had a, all that kind of stuff. You can buy a car and get home and, oh, I wish I hadn't bought this car. But you bought it because it what? It looked good. Or it sounded good. It had good stereo in it. But the engine is as poor. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. How do you make sure when you buy something, don't do it hastily? Amen. Or when you sign something, do some investigation. Yeah. And I said, wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. And let him let the spirit help you to evaluate. Amen. In the gym the other day, I was talking to this young man. He said, I gotta evaluate that problem, evaluate this thing before I make another step. That's a good word. Because whatever we do, we ought to evaluate the worth of, of it, what we buy, mm -hmm. what we do. That's true. That's true. And we ought to evaluate our decision. Mm -hmm. That we ought to wait a lot of time before we rush into something, we ought to evaluate. Mm -hmm. And it's not gonna the, the, the worth of it. Now what you call it, been in that field for about six weeks or more, and Boaz had saw her. And Boaz had made in mind that she was a what, a virtuous woman. Mm -hmm. A man of integrity, if you want a woman of integrity, you have to view it, view, view her. A man of integrity, a woman had to view him for a while Amen. before you make a decision to get involved with her. And this is not saying anything. I'm saying if you're going to do something, you're going to purchase up. Make sure you look at it and see what you got. Amen. The best you can. Mm -hmm. uh, it was four years after I got after I saw my wife that I married her. A lot of stuff went on with me. I came back. She was just as beautiful as she was the first time I saw her. Amen. Amen. I can I can't help myself. By the way, she drove me over this morning in, in, in my car. <laughs> I thank God for that. Amen. You know, and, and the longer you stay together, 
especially when you go through some trials and tribulations, you really find out really what you got. Amen. If there's no trials or tribulation, everything's real kosher. Mm -hmm. But once a trial comes, then you really you really find out what you got. Mm -hmm. Right? Amen. Oh, let me let me get out of here. And boy, I said, oh yeah. More emblems and and m m challenge and melons of the hand of Naomi. It brought all that property back, mm -hmm. and more and more. Moreover, Ruth, the Moabites, the wife from Meshulam, mm -hmm. I have purchased to be what my wife. Mm -hmm. All have sin that comes short of the glory of God. Yeah, but Jesus purchased us yeah, there at Calvary yeah, yeah. yeah. to be His. Coming bride. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> it didn't matter. Yes, sir. You're mine. Yes. You're coming to me, and I don't know why. Thank you. And as, 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 they said, moreover, she and purchased to be my wife, as Jesus purchased us at Calvary. Yes, sir. He uh, come to give his life as a ransom yes. for many. Yes, sir. And raised up the name of the dead mm. upon the inheritance that uh, that the name of the of the dead mm. shall not be cut off among his brethren, and from this gate his place yet are witnesses today that the transaction did go through proper, mm. and he did purchase room. And mm. we'll, next week we'll look at the. At the same principle that applied to Christ, purchasing the church. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 everything had to be done right. That's right. That's mm -hmm. good stuff. Everything, everything, everything had to be proper. Yes. God is a God that you can trust. Mm -hmm. Let me say something. You can't trust your, your mind. Amen. Mm -hmm. You can't trust your own mind. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Ellen did a good job on you. must trust the Spirit to lead you mm -hmm. and to guide yes. you into yes. truth. Yes. If you're going to worship, you got to worship in spirit and in truth. You can't allow your mind to have precedent over your overthinking. And the only way you can do that is study the Word of God, allow the Spirit to lead and guide you. And when you get to an obstacle, you don't, you, you, you don't know what is the Spirit leading you there, or, or, or this is something else. You call somebody. Call another brother or sister. Sit with them, talk with them, allow the spirit to, to come in and help you see. See, every man thinks he's by himself. You're not by yourself. You you, you belong to a body. Yes. Amen. You belong to a body, and the body is there to support yes. each Amen. other, Amen. each other part of the body. Amen. If my little finger here can't work, my next finger doesn't doesn't work. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes you put up, you allow the, the parts of the body to come together to give full answers or to comfort or to make decisions. You got to, you got to make sure that everybody's involved. You don't tell all your details, but you want the truth of a matter. Amen. And listen, let me tell you something. You don't go to somebody who's going to agree with you. <laughs> what I'm going to, with, 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 um, I'm going to go, go to Earl. Earl don't agree with nobody. I'm, he, he does. I'm, Earl a good man, but I'm, I'm using an example. He don't agree with nobody. And so I'm going to him for advice? Huh? Well, I'm going to advice for I believe more crazy than I was when I went there. This is what Earl said. This is what Earl said. This is what Harvey said. What, what? You guys are crazy. Go to the Word of God. Allow the Spirit to lead you and guide you into all the truth. Enable you to make proper decisions. You got a wife, go to her, talk to her. She, she may not agree with you, but talk to her. Amen. And wife, talk to your husband. You don't agree on the whole thing, but one thing for sure, if Jesus at the center of what you're doing, Hallelujah. you want to do what he says do. Oh, yeah. you, I don't have an opinion, hopefully not of my own. Amen. My wife doesn't have an opinion of her own. Amen. What I really do is that for those opinions that we have to be clarified under the guidance of the Holy Spirit Amen. and through the Word of God. Amen. And many people have had experience and, and situations. I've been married 50 some years, so I'm a good person to talk to. She is. Her, all these mm -hmm. old soldiers out here, they've been through the wars. They've been through the ups and downs and the wounds and whatever. 
And I think they got a lot of stuff they can share with anybody to help them along this way. Yes, and Christ is a mighty, mighty good redeemer. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Any questions? Any comments?